is up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel i'm deja Today is going to be like a Q&A advice type of video. I asked you guys to ask me um, questions over on my Instagram. I put up like one of those little poll things. Saying like um, relationship advice, co-parent advice, life advice, mommy advice, anything, ask me anything. So these questions are kind of all over the place because I kind of asked for that. So I'm gonna just answer a couple of them without blabbering too much because I don't know how long this video is going to be. So the first one says, when you're new to your dating scenes in your 20s, how should you get started and be confident? Okay, so if you're saying this is like your first time ever dating and like you know I really don't know because like I was kind of married from the age of 14 till I was like 21 so all I would say is like I guess when I went out into the dating scene that was like my first time I would just be myself be confident um, set boundaries I know what I expected out of somebody what I wanted or needed in a relationship that I like was craving and didn't receive from my past one so yeah that helped me a little bit but i would just say because if you're saying this is like your first relationship then just like you know kind of just be yourself um set your boundaries don't go out of your way to be uncomfortable for the next person just to like satisfy them um because you know there's someone out there for everyone so if that person doesn't meet like all your requirements or like is trying to overset boundaries and stuff like that more more people out there for you shorty what's the most expensive item in your closet and name the price um, the most expensive item in my closet right now is probably a pair of Ox shoes. Like, he's a shoe, um, head. Um, he collects sneakers and stuff, so. Probably one of his shoes, you guys. I'm, like, very basic when it comes to, like, all that stuff. Like, the designer world and stuff. Like, I really don't care about that. I, like, I always, always, always said I would never, ever, like, I don't care how much money I have in the world. I am not spending, like, $5,000 on a shirt. Like, that just doesn't make any sense to me. I would rather, like, spend my money, like, creating memories than like spend it on materialistic thing and that's why till this day like I don't have like a lot of name brand stuff because I really don't care for it. YouTube starter advice. I've been getting this question since before like before time okay. Honestly just do it. Be confident in what you do. Um, find your little niche and get to it. You know YouTube is a world of so many different creative things and very odd things that people like to watch on the internet. Whatever you want to do there is a category for you. So just start posting your videos make sure your quality is good, lighting is good. Um, I would say be very consistent coming from a person who's not but don't blame me. Be depressed. <laughs> be consistent. Do it, honestly. There's not really anything I can say. Like, there's no, like, tips and tricks on being a YouTuber. Honestly, I know people say that, but the main one is just be consistent. Do what you like to do. Because if you do what you like to do, then it's not, like, forced. Would you ever get married? Um, of course. I want to get married. That is my goal. My goal in life, literally since I was little. Like, I knew I wanted a kid, but I really didn't want a kid, but I do want a kid. That was the first thing because my sister started having children when I was young. Like my oldest sister started having kids when I was young. So those were like my kids, you know. Then I got to a point where I was like, I just want to be like the rich auntie. And then I was that for a little while until I had my own baby. But I just knew, like I knew I was going to have a boy first. I knew he was going to have an August birthday. I want to have a kid by the time I'm 25. I want to be married by the time I'm 30. Like, you know, the answer to that is yes, definitely. I want to be married and I'm pretty sure my husband's gonna be Aki. <laughs> Some advice would you give to a young mom? Being a young mother, um, you know, I had later when I was 21. Teen mom, I really don't know, like that's a whole different, a whole different realm. Being a younger parent, honestly, when you become a mom, it's like motherly instinct. You know your kid, like that relationship that you have with your child is completely different, okay? It's like, you know your kid, so go with your gut and your instincts when it comes to your child. Yeah, you can hear what people have to say like, oh, do this, do that, but don't let anyone try to tell you how to parent your kid because you know your child better than anybody else. Do what you do, love your child. But honestly, I feel like children make you a better person. My kid made me a better person. Just be thankful for that for that gift that God gave you because he gave it to you for a reason. I know that people deal with postpartum like depression and stuff. Like I dealt with it for years. That can get in the way of everything, but just know that like the days that you feel like you're not a good parent and you're not doing this and you're not doing that, just take the time to think like all the things that you did do and all the things that you have done. Cause I know like postpartum can get in the way of all that. Somebody said you like girls, just curious. No, <laughs> I don't even like girls as friends. <laughs> Tips 
on being left alone in the middle of a pregnancy single mom advice girl i know your pain it's a different level like you already feel like mentally that you're alone whether like you're you have a boyfriend who's involved a husband that's there like it's just so different when you're pregnant and it's like yeah all the help is nice and doing this and that is nice but like you're not in my body with me you're not going through these changes seeing the changes physically emotionally mentally like you're not in there with me so you already kind of feel alone to an extent and then when you have a partner who's like not there it's like what i have is you know so my tip is just to come to terms with okay this is how my life is gonna be now because the denial stage that sh can't get you delusional just come to terms with okay this is what i'm gonna have to do this is the type of mother i will be and the type of woman i will be for my child um the type of example i'm going to set yeah like do what you gotta do boss up honestly if that person is not willing to love you correctly and do this, this and that it's gonna be a man or a woman who's gonna come and love you and your child like it's their own live your life honey live your best life for you and your kid are you thinking about having another baby um have i been thinking about having another baby a thought has crossed my mind four five six times <laughs> is it gonna happen anytime in the near future i have no idea the goal is to have a ring on my finger before i have another child so if that day comes then yes we will be having babies how do i get the confidence to show off my relationship with an older guy girl just like do it okay i feel like Everyone nowadays is like trying to live up to like another person thought about them or like society It is like you have to live your life for you because at the end of the day It's your life when you die. Yeah, you're gonna have people who miss you and stuff But their world is gonna go on so you have to live your life for you Tomorrow is never promised if you want to show this man off and you're happy in a relationship I don't give a fuck if he's 50 years older than you it's your life. If you are happy and content with yourself, live your life. Like, I feel like the goal to life is happiness. Like you see a whole bunch of people with money and all of this and all that. That's why they say money can't buy you happiness because they're looking for it and searching for it. So if this person is bringing you joy and happiness into your life, show the world. <laughs> oh girl, what? Somebody said advice on how to get over a toxic ex that cheated and got someone else pregnant. I don't be in jail. <laughs> I have never been through that. At least the getting somebody else pregnant part. But how to get over that? Boss up on me. Like, <laughs> make him see like, oh, damn. You doing this, this, and this now. All that you talked about, now you doing it. Yes, I'm doing it 12 times better without you, sir. I'm doing this, this, and this without you, sir. Never go back. Never, ever, ever go back. Because that is crazy. Z, that is crazy. Do you think you're going to regret later, later and get too attached to Aki? Am I gonna regret that? Not at all. I love the relationship Layden and Aki have. It's amazing to see like Aki is such a great man and I feel like he's um, a good role model for my kid. I feel like he's a good role model for any little boy, honestly, or else I wouldn't have allowed him to meet Layden. And do I feel like I'm gonna regret letting them get attached? Not at all, because I know that is going to be my husband. I don't care if I if I had a thought in my mind like, oh, this wasn't gonna last, and like he's just a boyfriend for a now thing, he wouldn't have met my kid. That's why other niggas in the past have not met my child because it's like a I don't see you long term. So like, why would I allow you in my kid's life and allow y'all to create a little bond? And then it's like, I don't even like you like that, you know? Why do you think a lot of women in their twenties don't have friends? I mean, it's a, it is a lot of people in whatever age that do have a lot of friends like i'd be seeing people on like instagram and tiktok going on girls trips and i'm just like how do you have that many friends can never be me i don't know um advice on why why don't i think that they have a lot of friends in their 20s maybe because like in your 20s it's kind of like looked at as like you need to find yourself and you need to do this this and that before you're the age of 30 and like you know so i feel like a lot of people go are on their own little journey you know a lot of a lot of people are envious of other people when they're like accomplishing their goals and like you know stuff that they have planned for the future they're just getting it before the other person it'd be a lot of haters out there that's probably why a lot of people don't have friends and just a lot of people are trying to find their own life go on their own path and it kind of doesn't align with someone else that's why we are do you apologize to lady if you're in the wrong or 
accidentally do something of course of course like if if i do something wrong or like layden tells me something i try to tell him something i'm like i'm wrong at the end of the day yeah i'm gonna apologize to my kid because he is a person like i'm not up here because i'm his mother like to an extent you know but like i'm not we're all human um what is your advice on c-section recovery honestly you guys i really don't know because like i like as i was being told and like my sisters have c-section my mama had a c-section with all of us um but like i was told that it's like the hardest thing to recover over and like you're gonna be down bad for this 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 amount of time and like I was up and moving the same day. Like my nurses were surprised because it was my first kid and it was my first time having a C-section. The recovery process for me, I felt like was normal. It was like on the same track of as if I would have had him vaginally. So like, I honestly don't know. Like tips and tricks, like I just did all the, the tips and tricks that my um, nurses told me. I don't know, like <laughs> I really don't know. Like I didn't wrap my stomach up. I didn't do this and do that. Like I kind of just let my body heal. Like the only thing that I was doing and I feel like snapped me back super fast was breastfeeding. That's it, like I don't know. Advice for new mommies. I just turned seven months and my baby girl won't stop kicking my ribs. Oh my God, that is so cute. You guys, I've been like low key having baby fever and like looking at all Layden's old videos, I'm like, but one advice I would give is, you know how they say like, um, time flies? I didn't believe it, but like looking back at it, you know, you're so tired dealing with a newborn, like, you know, hormones trying to be in balance. It's like you lose track of time. Those memories become very blurry. I would just say live in every moment. Although some days are going to be super harder than others. Like just live in that moment and be in that moment. You're gonna blink and they're gonna be one. You're gonna blink and they're gonna be five. And like the times when there was a newborn, you're gonna miss and just like, yeah, they're boring when they're that little, but it's like, mm, just so little and sweet. Just be in that moment and take a breath. You're not perfect. This is your first time because you said you're a new mom. This is your first time. What you see in the movies and TV is not real. Everyone's child is different. Everyone goes through different things. I would say don't be so hard on yourself if you feel like you're not doing this, 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 and that right or in the certain amount of time that you've seen someone else do it or like if your baby's crying longer than the average kid, like you're in the wrong, like no. You grow every day with your child. You learn every day with your child. And just know that, like I said before, it's your kid and you're gonna know your kid better than anybody. And they're gonna know you better than anybody. So just take a breath. Some days might be hard, the crying might not stop, but just breathe and just know like this is your first time. Enjoy your baby while they're young because mine's just running around a grown ass man, um, independent as hell, doing stuff on his own. And I'm just like, ask me to help you sometimes. <laughs> I just miss when he was little and needed me to do stuff, you know? Should I shoot my shot at a guy or wait for them to shoot the shot? I'm a girl. Um, I feel like you shoot your shot because like 90,000% of the time, if a girl is shooting their shot at a dude, you're gonna make it. Period. Honestly, shoot your shot. You only live once, you know? Then a lot of guys say that they like when girls shoot their shot anyways. How was it going into a new relationship? How did you let go and was able to trust again? Um, I feel like I allowed myself to heal to an extent because I would say like fully was I no because things transpired. But um, I would say make sure you're healed and completely okay to like, you know, go into that. Because me, day one, Ak has never switched up. Like, honestly, this man has been the same person he presented himself to me day one. And I would say like, you know, I had trust issues and stuff in the past and dealing with all of that. I honestly was just like, I'm going to trust you 100%. And if you show me something, I'm done. Oh, I don't even have time to go through what I was going through. Like, I don't want to see nothing. If you trigger something, I'm out of here. Like, for both of us sakes, yeah, no, it, it, it's done. It's over with wraps. I give a person the benefit of the doubt whether i'm with you or not i will trust you until you show me otherwise so that's how i went into it how do you cut off people that isn't good for you at this day and age just block them block them mute their story on instagram or whatever move on with your life 
<laughs> like it's really not that much to it because how we live now everything's so technology like block them you would never ever ever see that person and think of them ever again but is it considered too long to transition from girlfriend to fiance i love you i love you too baby girl and i would think me now like two years we good two years and you don't know if you want to be with me forever yeah two years that's it that's all i'm doing two years do you wish you stayed with your baby daddy for the sake of your child um absolutely not because i've witnessed um unhealthy relationships like growing up in my life with my parents not them together but like you know just seeing unhealthy relationships between them and their relationships. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I've witnessed unhealthy relationships and um, I would never try to stay in one just because we have a kid together. I want to be a representation of what love should be and how you should treat a woman and as a woman how you should treat a man. So yeah, I want my kids to be able to look up to me and my relationship and know what to expect out of love. So no, I'm not, I don't, mm -mm. can you do a, youtube video step by step showing how you do nails y'all i was thinking about this and i really want to but you guys have to let me know if that's something you want to watch do you think niggas get so mad when a girl doesn't like him or wants to give him give him her number you guys i've been through this so much as a woman everyone out there knows it literally hurts their pride ego whatever like it, literally if they're in front of like their friends or something you turn them down it's like worst case scenario now they got their friends calling them all type of bitches and stuff it's just like it's down bad for them so like they're gonna do the first thing to protect themselves emotionally it's like oh you this this and that like i didn't like it's so annoying that like people be dying over that honestly and that's why to this day like i be having to tell my baby yeah uh when they ask oh can i have your number uh, here you go Doo -doo -doo. i'll either type in a fake number or sometimes i'll be giving them my real number because people like to just call you right on the spot like don't do that that is so rude. Nobody actually, like, don't do that. Sometimes if I'm looking at them and I'm catching their vibe and I feel like they're gonna be the type of ones to like, I'm gonna call you right now, lock me in, I'm gonna give you my real number and I'm gonna just block you as soon as I walk away from you. Like, as soon as my eyes and your eyes disconnect and I turn my head, you're blocked. And even like, if you tell them like, oh, I have a boyfriend, niggas don't be going for that nowadays and I'm not trying to die. So I be telling Ock like, when I'm outside, yeah, people be hitting on me all the time. And sometimes I do think you give them my number, but I will block them because they don't believe in that I got a boyfriend and I really do and I be wearing this necklace. And I've had a couple niggas ask me like, oh, what's that A stand for my, my boyfriend's name? Oh, what's his name? Aki. Oh, you cute though. What's your, like they don't care. Most of the time though. And they be like, oh, can I get your number? I just always be like, oh no, but you can, you can have my Instagram. So I give them my Instagram. Uh, You just help me gain a follower. I'm not following you back, but you know, a last question how do you get over your baby daddy and accept being a single mom that's kind of like the first one but the other girl is pregnant still so having to deal with this person um really just gotta set a boundary because it's just like i don't know what it is about male they just feel like they have like you like you're obligated to them and it's really weird and i feel like that's just that the male ego now that you have a kid it makes it 10 times worse because they feel like you always gonna be mine type of thing you just have to kind of set your boundary and accept being a single mom don't don't think of it as oh no other man is gonna like me or love me because i have a kid because that's not true exhibit a and you know that man loves my child to death don't think like oh you can never find love again and you just obligated to be with this person one because the father of your child and two is like you know ain't nobody else gonna love you and that's wrong something like i never ever ever wanted in my life for myself but like it happened you just gotta kind of accept it and swallow that pill it took me a long time to swallow the pill of my family that i envisioned to have one day is not gonna be a family um you know my kids may have different dads like oh i never wanted that one but it was a hard pill to swallow like getting that family picture out of your mind and just doing what's right for you because that family picture is going to keep you in a toxic relationship trust me yeah let that let that go and move on with your life and be a better mother for your child find that happiness for yourself for your kid learn to love yourself um and once you do that boss the hell up baby girl your child is going to love you regardless at the end of the day you have someone who is going to love you regardless like that love it, it cannot compare to any other love out there like the love of your child is unconditional it's the greatest feeling in the world honestly like all the all the mommies out there like girls always ask me how i get over 
the situation with my kid's dad like it took me a long time you guys i was single for like three years and throughout those three years it was like back and forth back and forth it's so freaking toxic <gasps> But I just really had to let go of the picture in my mind the family picture honestly Like I had to let go of the family picture and once I did that like God Opened so many doors for me allow me to see so many roads and like just become Clear-headed to everything in my life, you know, sometimes it's gonna be hard to um, let go of the the envision you had for your future or like the future that you always wanted and thought that was yours already it's going to be hard to let that go once you let it go and get out of that mindset if this is all i have to look forward to god is going to show you like look look what i have like look what i have for you he's going to bless you with so many different things because that's really just the devil like that whole toxic shit is just the devil so once you let it go like god's gonna be like here you go. Thank you for not being dumb no more. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like these type of videos, let me know. Hi. I'm about to close out my video. Hello. <laughs> Just let me know. I want to And on that note, bye guys. Bye. <laughs>